now once you once you configure the account right i don't think that immediately you will be able to create machines and everything no so it is actually creating a tenant account what exactly is a tenant account so it, it is it is a little bit confusing when people who already have a knowledge on aws and come here they'll find annoying what is this subscription because aws is very simple uh, because you have accounts and if uh, simply every uh, you have a master account you have normal accounts and start using it but let me tell you microsoft is a different beast guys so Microsoft is not as uh, AWS, right? I mean, AWS is different. AWS came as a logistics uh, earlier, and now it is into a cloud basically. But Microsoft is there from the, the amount of products they have, starting from uh, Microsoft, uh, Windows, all these things, right? Windows, uh, after that, uh, virtualization, a lot of things are available. So that's why it's a different beast. So let me show it to you. Okay, done. So if you see, I have got, I'm, I'm able to log into the Microsoft Azure. So what exactly happening? But if you try to go virtual machines or if you see the subscriptions, right? You don't have any subscriptions. In Microsoft Azure, if you don't have a subscription, you can't do anything. For example, if I try to create a virtual machine here, so let me go to virtual machine. And if I try to create a virtual machine, so if you see, this is what it is saying. Welcome to the Azure don't have a subscription check for follow option you can actually start a azure free trial uh, which will give you 200 dollars per one month actually okay so what i'm trying to say here is so by just by just creating an account you are not going to get uh, anything here but what exactly you're going to get is once i go here if i go to uh, my microsoft account here or i need to give something like this i'll say let me show it to you i think what exactly it did was i'll go to azure active directory now i want to show you at the back end what exactly this is what they did guys it has created a tenant id for you now it has created a tenant id for you what exactly is a tenant id okay now <clears throat> Now imagine uh, the how I'm going to compare this one is I can't compare this with AWS as I said AWS is very simple because the amount of products uh, they are going to deal with is simple but if you take Microsoft here Microsoft as an example they have Microsoft Azure they have Office 365 they have Microsoft Dynamics they have MSDN uh, a lot of things are available because Microsoft is there in the system from many years right so they have many products now very when it, when it comes to aws aws is only one because it's, it's it have only cloud apart from that it's not having anything right of course they have logistics which is a e-commerce site but normally if i go to the aws if i take amazon into picture they are into two things one majorly that they are they are into a lot of startups but majorly they are into two things one is they are into e-commerce second thing is they are into cloud that means in cloud is only one entity it's done but that is not the same case because AWS is not an IT company, whereas Microsoft is an IT company and they have different branches, guys, right? So now what this tenant ID will do is let me take an uh, analogy here, so or an example here to to understand. Now, imagine, imagine there is a big gated community, okay? Big, you know, big gated community now i'm going to say like uh, something like put like like uh, <clears throat> azure villas for example okay now it, it is for the rich people i'll just imagine like that uh, each villa costs some 10 crore or something now in this one there are a lot of features actually okay so apart from houses apart from villas what i'm going to say is on the right side i'm going to do something like this okay Okay, or I, I'm going to put a little bigger here. I'm going to say all villas are available here I mean residential homes. Okay, these are villas Fine now apart from that they also have something actually a, a golf court actually Now 
and apart from that they have a, a big clubhouse with uh, with the gymnasium all these things uh, with uh, uh, with the swimming pools olympic size swimming pool everything apart from they also have grounds for the kids and everything play area everything okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give this one as golf court sorry golf golf court yeah the analogy analogy will help you to understand why i have a tenant id now okay here i'm going to come here uh, here i'm going to like a clubhouse and swimming pool and uh, gymnasium and finally i'm going to have a ground so uh, kids kids play ground skating so uh, as well as like uh, uh, cricket something which is which supports uh, a wide variety of sports now imagine the rule here is every every time you want to access any of this one you should have some sort of an id at the, at the starting uh, you need to show an id for uh, for your uh, security even if you go into the villas into your home or golf court everywhere so what will happen in the middle to get access to all these things you need to have a authorization now i'm going to call that as tenant id now i'm going to use tenant id not only for my villa i'm going to use it for my golf court i'm going to use it for swimming pool i'm going to keep kids here so i'm going to replace this villas with simply microsoft azure i'm going to replace golf court with microsoft office 365 and i'm going to replace is some microsoft dynamics and here i'm going to replace with microsoft anywhere any any future technologies microsoft future so what will happen when you create a tenant id that will allow you that uh, that id will allow you to deal with a lot of not only microsoft azure it will also deal with allows you to access uh, uh, can okay, so like uh, other features of microsoft or other business business lines of uh, azure actually uh, microsoft actually so microsoft azure is different office 365 is different microsoft dynamics is different now combining all the imagine if you want to have like each one different uh, different id and password right then it's a headache for you right so what will happen your company will have one tenant id okay when you create that account you will get the tenant id automatically and that tenant id will be actually connected to all the all uh, all the supported uh, features or i can say like all the supported business lines or applications basically now what will happen by default you will have access but since but you can't use them because you need to create the subscriptions you need to buy the office 365 or you need to buy the microsoft subscriptions but this this is not the same case with aws right aws you really don't have all these things right you don't have all these things the only thing you have in aws is, is just one uh, cloud actually so what will happen you really don't need tenant id simply they will actually deal with account id account number if you start using it so this is what the major difference when it comes to the accounts now uh, how exactly it is differed from AWS? There is no concept of tenant ID in AWS. In AWS, you have an account number. Here, it is a subscription ID. For example, if you go to my account, this is my account. Uh, if I come down, if I go to subscriptions, actually, now you basically have three subscriptions, guys. So production, testing, and development. Azure Pass. Azure Pass is something uh, when you attend some training, they will give you this pass, actually. Okay. Now, if you see production and testing development, you see, so these are subscriptions actually. Each one will have a subscription ID. Okay. This is actually compared to AWS, this is actually the account ID. So, in AWS, normally what we can call it as uh, in AWS, you have a master account and you also have sub accounts. Here, the master account is tenant ID. These are all the sub accounts. So, simply, simply saying, AWS account is equal to subscription in Azure.
so what you need to have in order to create your workloads if i say like anything why i'm calling workloads it might be vm database storage account whatever it is if you want to do that what you need to have it you need to have a subscription for mandatory without that you're not going anywhere so just because i have created this one i can't uh, you only get the tenant account apart from that you can't do anything here guys you have a tenant id you have a microsoft azure but what will happen you can't do any sort of activity here so what exactly i require i require subscriptions okay so right now if you see the subscription is pretty much empty guys what i'm supposed to do i'm going to create a subscription here so what i'm supposed to do you can click on add and it will give you different options for uh, creating the subscription let me tell you uh, don't try to create multiple free subscriptions because microsoft is very smart in that one uh, even if you try to create a new email id and try to get a free trial for one month right sometimes even they block you they i don't know how they are they're using some security related the back end but uh, i did this like uh, many years back so what will happen is if this is your first email account so what you can do you can use the free trial so click on free trial and uh, what they'll do it will go to the next and you need to give all the details let, let me you need to shake you need to do this later okay i'm just going to put some uh, uh, placeholder data here that means some some random data so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to say here is belong to india and first name uh, like uh, i'm going to put test user in your case you're going to give proper names test user give a, phone, a valid phone number okay some uh, a nine eight something okay i'm going to give something like this so go next so organization i'll say like uh, self training so i'll go to next here it's going to send uh, a phone number i'm going to text it everything so after that once it once it is confirmed it is your phone number and email then you need to go to the identification that means you need to put your uh, debit or credit card i think some one of the student told me that they are accessing debit cards as well but earlier uh, azure said that they are not going to access allow any sort of uh, debit cards they are going to use credit cards but few students said that i'm using from credit card from from long time guys so i'm really not sure so it they used to accept earlier but i think uh, uh, one and a half year or two years back when i had a call with support they said they stopped using debit supporting debit cards but recently in the in, in the batch right the one of the guys said that they he is able to use it now the challenge here is they are going to charge you if you are in india they are going to charge you two rupees just to make sure that you are actually a valid user it's not not some sort of fake or something robot or something if you are in uk and us obviously it will be in dollars one or two dollars but they are going to revert for you they are going to revert the money because it is only for checking purposes once everything is done approve everything and i think at the agreement right you might have support also you just need to support free support guys don't select any developer support and all these things okay so what will happen once you save it now the subscription will be created similarly you can have multiple subscriptions as you see let me close this again this subscription will be valid they give 13300 rupees calculating as 200 dollars per one month so now let me tell you one important thing when you are using a free trial free trial will be 30 days and that amount which is remaining will not be carry forward that means after 30 days uh, they will going to disable your account just like this which i showed you right so they would disable something like that you, you can upgrade it actually basically so but what will happen is you can actually say in that one you can uh, basically upgrade it actually manage but again it's not required for me in your case also they will actually disable something like this that's why what you are supposed to do is you need to make sure that you consume everything before one month so that means if it is if you're going to create an account today it's going to expire on april 20th you need to make sure that you use everything practice as much as possible before 20 20th like by 19th of april you should be consuming everything let me tell you i have seen enough people thinking that they will come this is free guys so use as much as possible and they have in in such designed in such a way this account you are not going to consume everything by the way because they have a limitation of four cpu something like that so practice as much as possible and put it 
you need to complete it in 29 days only because after that i seen many people wasting 5000 6000 rupees unnecessarily because they thought it will lead, they mind consuming everything but eventually this free trial will over you can't stop this and once that is done what we are going to do is we, you need to give pay as you go once you click on here you need to select for pay as you go developer support is not required actually so you can select pay as you go so what is this pay as you go means it is similar to my subscriptions what you are seeing right now if you see my subscriptions i'll get uh, this is the money i'm pay right now the current cost of my account so since i'm using this 16 gb virtual machine i get a cost around because i'm going to use the same machine for taking aws classes devops classes and everything so every day it will run for at least for five or six hours actually that makes low 16 six or uh, uh, somewhere like 100 rupees every day i need to pay for this one that comes around to somewhere like uh, three thousand per month i need to pay okay only for only for azure that's because to uh, they have a good a good experience so that they don't have any screen lags and everything like this you of course you won't get that one my expectation is after one month your trial will be completed apart from your trial you might get maximum of another 500 rupees max again if you forgot to delete the things another 500 rupees to practice all the labs because so let me tell you we can't call ourselves as a good drivers of a car if you just go to a driving uh, driving school had like oh, two weeks of training and said that okay i'm ready to drive from pune to mumbai in express highway that is not going to work guys you what is going to happen if you do that you're going to hurt yourself and most probably you're going to hurt others also so you can't you call yourself as a driver unless you get a driving license right similarly yes, by using the free trial don't expect you give them professionals here one month it's not possible because our course set it will go for two months then in one month it's going to expire now obviously you try to create an additional additional uh, one more account if you get created yes it's good but most probably the they have a mechanism to track you if you're creating multiple subscriptions actual or multiple uh, yeah multiple subscriptions or accounts actually they're going to block you so after one month what you need to do is you might need to create a they're not going to bill you automatically guys after one month straight for straight they're going to disable you they're not going to bill anything actually if there are some machines they're going to shut down so you can create a new subscription pay as you or expose uh, the, uh, i think uh, upgrade this one to pay as you go and uh, my expectation is you you might get 500 rupees overall lab if you want to do what i'm doing this is all about practical guys as much as more practice you do in azure more errors you're going to get and more things you're going to learn okay so this is how you need to create your subscriptions right now it will be like here it, instead of subscription name it will go it will show you free trial actually if you opt for free trial if you are already consumed your free trial then you need to new account and try to uh, create one but see in in aws it is very easy to create a free trial guys but here no it's tough if you're able to manage to create a new free trial yes i'm happy for you if not you already consumed it you need to create pay as you go then you might have a, a, a thousand rupees extra to practice all the labs which i'm going to tell you right now okay any questions guys anything you need to understand here you can unmute and ask the question if you, if you didn't understand anything any doubts or something okay fair enough so let's let's move further actually now next is we're going to uh, we're going to see the hierarchy guys so i'm, I'm talking a lot about list subscriptions uh, tenant ids a lot of things i'm i'm explaining and i also shown you the picture using how exactly tenant id will be helpful for you and everything but from the azure point of view what is the hierarchy from where we are going to do that one now it always starts with it's always start with tenant id guys so let me open a new let me spend let me some water okay <clears throat> now let's see the hierarchy actually here from where exactly it comes now it will always always comes from the tenant id guys at the top what you will have is you have a tenant id so how you are being identified actually in the azure world or if i say like uh, to be precise in microsoft world it will be tenant id in azure active directory 
Azure, let's say Azure AD actually or AAD. We're going to talk about Azure AAD and everything later, but simply say it's a D tenant, not tenant. Okay, tenant. Okay, so if you see the tenant ID is in Azure AD basically. So now under this tenant ID, what we'll have is we can have multiple subscriptions, guys. What I'm trying to say is so what I can do, 